Hey guys, it's Petra and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a scoliosis Q&A based on things you guys asked me on Instagram and Snapchat while I get ready for the day. June is scoliosis awareness month, so in honor of that, this month I'm only going to be making scoliosis themed videos and the purpose of this is to raise awareness, obviously, and to talk a little bit about my journey and to help everyone that is suffering from scoliosis to feel a little less alone because when I was going through the biggest the biggest parts of my journey i really appreciated all the people that made youtube videos about scoliosis so i want to help people that feel a little alone or don't know what to do when it comes to scoliosis but yeah let's get into it but first guys we're gonna do a little scar update okay i don't know if you guys can see that oh wait i don't know here it is Anyway, I'm cold, so I'm gonna put on a sweater. Say hi to yourselves. I have all of the questions here, so I'm gonna go get some coffee and we're gonna start. Welcome to my fridge, once again. We finally made it to the desk and now we're going to start with the questions. I'm really sorry for taking so long, but anyway, the first question is how long does it take to recover? The average recovery time is six months to a year for a spinal fusion, which is what I had. Um, I was told that for six months I can't bend, lift, or twist which is pretty reasonable and then like up to a year that's kind of when the fusion itself is happening oh my gosh someone's calling me for me recovering to the point where i could go to school was like five weeks so it really depends on the person and where you say that you're fully recovered like i'm not fully recovered yet and i don't like i feel pretty good but I can't say that I'm fully recovered because I know that what's happening inside my body like it hasn't completely healed yet and the scar hasn't completely healed yet so I can't say that I'm fully recovered. Second question is did you wear a brace before you got surgery? Yes, I did wear a back brace. I don't know what type of brace it is because there's different type of back braces but I will put a picture of the type of brace here if I can find it. The next question is, did you feel pain due to your scoliosis before you got surgery? I did and I didn't. Mine wasn't as like pain related. Like sometimes I would have occasional pain, but for me, I didn't feel pain because of the scoliosis. It was more visible on the outside. Like if you looked at my back, you could definitely tell that I have scoliosis. Um, so no, it wasn't painful. On to the next question, what's the worst it's been? The worst my scoliosis has been was definitely mid to late 60 degrees. After the rods are put in, does it make it harder to move? Yes, it definitely does. And this is because obviously it's titanium, so it's not going anywhere and mine like covers a lot of my spine so it it does limit my mobility and if i were a gymnast for example i would lose a lot of mobility and i wouldn't be able to do like certain things how many of your vertebrae are connected that's how much your mobility will be affected and just for reference um when i bend this is the furthest i bend so like i can't really go further than this and this straight line that's the rods i can still touch my toes i can tie my shoelaces i can bend over to pick something up i couldn't do that when i was bracing but it's not bothering me on a day-to-day -day level okay so this next question was asked by one of my very good scoliosis friends and she wanted to know what degree was your curve and how many curves did you have i had two curves Right now I have one. I'll insert a photo here. So the top curve when I got surgery was above 60. We already said that. And then the lower one, oh my gosh, I think it was in the 30s. 
but I'm not sure and I might have to ask my doctor to confirm that but it might have been in that range sort of and I still have that curve recently my doctor told me that it didn't get worse and it didn't get better either it just kind of stayed when did you find out you had scoliosis i was diagnosed when i was around 10 years old um in 2018 so that was kind of when we found out and then we ignored it well we didn't ignore it but we just let it be for a little bit to see if it was going to get worse or if it was going to stay that way um, and then in, I think, 2019, we got me an x-ray because we saw visibly on the outside that it was getting worse. So this person wanted to know, did surgery increase your body confidence? And yes, it 100% did. And here's why. So this won't be for everyone, obviously. One very important thing is that everyone's scoliosis case is different. Um, it's like... A fingerprint you will not find two people that have the exact same scoliosis case um, but basically mine was visible from the outside which prevented me from wearing open back tops like the one I'm wearing under this sweatshirt right now um, it made me like sort of insecure my shoulders were uneven my hips were uneven that really took a toll on me um, and after surgery it got so much better and honestly it makes me feel really confident in myself um, now that I do have the rods in my spine and along with that I get a really cool scar next um, what were the signs you had it did you notice it or did your family my mom has scoliosis and she kind of knows the signs and the symptoms so um, when she and my dad noticed it they kind of were like okay her shoulders are a little uneven we can see the little bump on her back from her ribs so she might have scoliosis and that is kind of how the whole thing started did wearing a scoliosis brace help reduce the um the degree of the curvature and yes it did um when i was really really consistent with it it did a lot and it was going really well until I think I stopped wearing it as much as I should have. Oh gosh. I wasn't taking it as seriously when we found out it was working. So I started to relax and that was a big, big no-no. Um, if it gets better, that means you keep doing what you're doing, okay? Wear it more, just like keep wearing it do not stop wearing it or do not wear it less like i did this person wanted to know when i found out that i have scoliosis and like i said earlier late 2018 i found out what are some changes that you saw after doing your surgery bad and good things good changes um obviously i do feel a lot more confident and more comfortable in my own i just feel better in general Another good thing is that I don't have severe scoliosis anymore. I just have titanium bolts and that's a very reassuring thing. Bad things is maybe the fact that I can't move as much as I used to. Before surgery, did you uh, have to try back brace? And if yes, for how long? So yes, I did wear back brace. We already talked about that. And I wore it from, I think, July 2020, June 2021 to about May 2022 and I stopped in May because I think that's when I was told I was gonna have surgery and at that point I just gave up and I was like I mean I'm already getting surgery what's the point of wearing it I also didn't take it when I went to Europe from Australia for a month which honestly I don't know how I feel about that decision because in my opinion I would have worn my brace because if you stop wearing your brace your scoliosis is bound to get worse especially if you have progressive scoliosis like i did um so even if you find out that you're going to have surgery i still recommend wearing your back brace just to keep it that way not to like make it worse because the worse it is the more there's going to be to do for the surgery on to the next question are you able to bend and stuff like that after surgery um again it really depends on 
everyone like everyone is different so i can but if you have like more um vertebrae that are connected then you might not be able to so my um camera died which is quite annoying and you know what it's still kind of dying but it's okay we only have like two more questions okay so another person wanted to know is it okay to struggle with it and let it ruin your mental health this is honestly a pretty deep question for me but i'm gonna answer it anyway having any health like condition or anything is going to take a toll on your mental health depending on how mentally strong you are and that is completely okay i feel like kind of with scoliosis too like it's not usually fatal and it shouldn't be fatal but it's still really scary when i found out that i was gonna get a back brace i cried and then when I found out I was going to get surgery, I laughed. Like, I couldn't stop laughing, and I, I don't know why, okay? It must have been, like, a strange coping mechanism, but um, in the event, like, in the time leading up to me getting surgery, everyone was like, oh my gosh, Petra, how are you not, like, scared? How are you not stressing? And I would just say, like, I'm just not. And I think it was because I was suppressing my feelings and I didn't quite understand the situation I was in and I couldn't like wrap my head around what was exactly happening to me until it happened and in hospital that's when I hit like a really mental low because everything just came out like I was uncomfortable, I couldn't sleep, I, I just like I was not taking it but that is a memory to me now and when I think of it I'm just like holy crap that was a while ago you're allowed to feel whatever you feel like if you are scared or stressed or whatever you're allowed to feel that because if you suppress it that's like a whole other problem and Keeping your emotions down instead of, instead of dealing with them will make them explode like mine did. For a couple months after my surgery, I wasn't at my mental best. It's only like now that I've gotten better and it's June, okay? So it takes a while. You need to focus on your life and accept what is happening to you because I didn't accept scoliosis. I definitely recommend finding someone to talk to. It doesn't have to be a professional, just someone that you can talk to about how you feel because that also helped me a lot. On another note, here is my makeup. It's really summery compared to the weather right now. Look, it's like raining. It stopped for like two seconds. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss one of this next. Happy Scoliosis Awareness Month, everyone. I love you all so, so much. Bye.